this is Sarah from Ari Beauty. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys my contour and highlight routine. Um, except on one side of my face I'm going to be doing a, a natural look, a more natural contour and highlight. And on the other side of my face I'm going to show you how to really glam up and sculpt out your cheekbones and give yourself some definition. So if you guys are ready for the video then just keep on watching and we'll get started. So as you guys can see, I already put a light layer of foundation on my face. I went in with the Makeup Revolution Stick Foundation. Um, I used the color F4. The, uh, I'm still trying out this foundation. I just put on a medium, a medium foundation. I put them on both sides. Because I really want to show you guys that you can really achieve a more natural look with the same foundation as you can glam it up. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just tapping some of that foundation into my skin. So on my more natural side, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and I'm just going to go in and conceal underneath my eyes. And here, I just go down just about that much concealer. And I'll just put one on that side, a little bit on that side, a little bit here, and a little bit right there on my cheek. And on the natural side of my face, I'm going to go ahead and just right below my eye, I'm going to set my concealer. I'm going to take a dense brush and I'm just going to hit underneath my eye. Take a larger fluffier brush and I'm going to go in with a pressed setting powder all over the rest of that side of my face. This is the Salma Hayek Nuance Powder. I'm going to put everything I, I use in the description bar below. I'm not going to talk too much about these products. I'm just going to show you the technique. So the, for the more glam side, I like to use more creams. Like if I, if I really want to glam up a look, I'm going to add more concealer and more cream contours and I'm just going to blend a little bit better. So for that, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Contour and, Contour and Highlight Palette. The very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small, thin brush. This is a wannabe artiste brush that I bought out of a, a collection. And I'm going to go in with a deeper shade than I usually would. I'm going to go in with the number two contour. And I'm just going to hit this right there. That's it. And I'm only going to hit it right there. And right there. That's that's all I'm gonna do for the deep dark contour. And I'm gonna go in with the number one contour shade and a small thin brush like this. And I like to go from my ear. You can't really see that. Let me show you. I like to go from where my ear starts, right here. And when I blend, I'm going to blend onto my ear, but I like to start from where my ear is. And to get that sharp look, you want to look straight ahead and you want to see where the shadow kind of hits your face right here. And it's right there where the shadow hits my face and it comes down a little bit. So I really want to accentuate that and make it look like I have cheekbones, which I, I don't really have prominent cheekbones. And even for most people, I do not like dramatically contour and highlight my face. I just don't. I'm going to go in with a lighter shade with this thinner brush and hit the side of my nose. And then I just do this little rounded out edge here, just like that. That's all I do for the contour, and I'm going to show you where I put my highlight. For that, I'm going to, my more glam days, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Neutral. And really go in and brighten up that under eye. Flick it down. right there and on the other side of my chin. I'm also going to go down my nose like that and right here. That's it. 
So for that, I'm gonna go back in with that dense brush that I did set my under eye with and just take the powder off. I didn't use too much powder, so don't worry. And I'm gonna go in and just really buff that color into my skin. I really want it to be super in my skin because I want this to still look natural. And then right here, I like to hold my hair up and then I take the same brush and I just go back and forth and then I go up my ear and you just go back and forth, back and forth, and then I don't ever go down. I want that line to be super sharp on the edge, and then I just pounce this in between those two places that I put the concealer. Did you see that? And that's blended enough right now, because when I, I go in with the concealer, it'll really blend it out. And I want right here not to have any contour, because I want the highlight to come up and make my face look a little bit more lifted. It's not about how much contour and highlight you're, you're doing, it's about where the placement is. And if you place it properly, you won't need to use that much. Concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with a beauty sponge. Concealer to really sit on my nose a little bit longer. Because I don't want it to blend out to be a crazy, I don't want it to blend out to be a crazy mess. So then lightly. Really focusing it just so that I'm blending it out very central. Just blend, blend, blend. More glam side, now I'm gonna go ahead and um, set my face. I am going to bake. Now baking for me, I don't do often, but when I do, I really do love what it does and the impact that it does bring and it really does help to find your face. It is very heavy makeup. So I go in with the Cody Air Spun and I take a damp sponge and just under under my eye, right there. I don't want to go too much down into the contour. I just want to get right under my eye. And then what I like to do, once I do that, the very first layer, it'll get very jumpy. So then I just take this brush and I just really pack it in there. And I try to get rid of any lines. So you don't want to set a line because once you bake this out, it's not going anywhere. Once you're happy with the way that it looks, you really want to get an absurd amount of powder on your beauty sponge and you want to bake your under eye. Okay? And you want to get all the way up to where you put the contour on your nose so you can sharpen up that nose. You take the residual up onto your forehead. I don't put too much there. On my chin, on the side of my mouth. And then here's the cool trick. Take that dense brush again and you dip it into the Cody Airspun and right underneath that contour, you can make a little line of this translucent powder. A little bit more. Is because whenever you lay that 
a thick layer of powder down on top of your concealer, your body temperature, which is around 98.6, is going up against that powder and it's not able to breathe. So like it's locking in that heat and it's cooking the concealer into the powder and it becomes bulletproof. And after she told me that, I was like, hmm. the natural side, I'm gonna go in with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm just going to take that and this is where my contour is. And I really make it as deep as I can with this powder right here. And then I blend it out. And you can go super glam with powders too. You just have to use a darker powder. And I have a good option. I'm going to show you for the other side. But for this side, I do want to keep it just a little bit more day-to-day -day natural. I'll go ahead and apply my blush. I'll use the Milani Baked Blush and the shade Luminoso for my natural side. This is like literally what I do. I like a quick out the door makeup. I use the same brush for everything and then I, when I get home I clean it. I'm like, oh, I should have used that. For all those powders. Is I'm gonna take a nice, small, dense brush like this one. I think this is actually meant for concealer, but I like to use it whenever I'm really trying to define my face. And I'm going to go in with the Pure Cosmetics Contour Powder. This is very cool toned. And what I like about this powder is that it looks so shadow-like that it's crazy. Like, it really makes your contour look more like it's actually your contour. So that I just take this like I did my other... And I really just chisel out what I've already done. Now, it might look a little bit harsh right now, but once I take this powder, this translucent powder down, and I kind of like powder the rest of my face, it'll all come together. And then I'll, you know, be blended out. Then you go back in with a little bit more of a dense brush and you really start feathering the product. And that line is still pretty sharp. I'm being very detailed about where I'm placing the powder because it can really muddy up the rest of your look. I'm gonna dust down the powder. going to take that powder and I'm gonna put it very very precisely on my nose. I'm gonna take my shader crease brush and I'm gonna take some of that powder onto my crease brush and I'm just going to hit my nose. I really want to brighten up that area and it will look better once we like highlight it, like with actual highlighter. And this is one of my first times using this powder, so we'll see, but I don't want to use the Cody Airs one on my nose. I'm gonna go into the Pure Blush Book, Pure Cosmetics, and I think I'm gonna do a, a little bit more of a peachy tone. And then you want to accentuate that contour. So you want to stick it right there and then blend it into your contour. And these powders are so pigmented, it's ridiculous. So be, be aware. Um, on both sides, I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Master Chrome in the golden golden shade, what is this, uh, molten gold. Okay, 
And right here, I'm trying to get where the light actually hits my face. So that's just right here. So it's like where the light actually hits your face is where you want to go. This highlighter is so good too. Like, the way it sits on your skin is just really beautiful. Just going right down the nose. Doesn't matter if I'm going glam or natural, I highlight in the same spots. Like with, with actual highlighter, I do highlight in the same spots. Sorry if I'm looking down at this mirror because like I'm trying to see myself what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do a, just a quick, it's not going to be a glam eye look on either side. It's going to be the same eye look on both sides. This is all about the contour and highlight. So just a quick something in my eyes, I'll put on some mascara. And I'll spray my face and then I'm going to go back in with highlighter and I'll show you my trick for this side to make it just really pop and look really good. Okay, you guys, so that is my face pretty much finished, but on the more glam side, I'm going to highlight again on top of that setting spray that I already put down. And then uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I also, I lied to you, I did this eye just a little bit differently. I took a darker brown just on the outer corner and I really defined my crease. So I kind of contoured my eye to give my eye just a little bit more of a more lifted, more alive look versus this eye which is super duper natural. This is my pretty much day to day look. And then this side, it's just a little bit more amped up. So for a highlight, for my second highlight on this side, I'm going to go in with the Pure Cosmetics highlighter. This highlighter has just got this wet look that I am just here for. Let it dry a little bit. And I'm just going to... Oh. The highlighter just makes me feel a certain way. This highlighter just looks so wet and beautiful. Can you see that? Is it just me? A little bit more of a detailed brush and I kind of just like, I only use this for my inner corner highlight. And I'm going to take that same highlighter and I go right down the bridge of my nose. I'm going right here. You see how that's like a beacon of light. And then I'm just going to skip a little space and then do it again, and then do a small little dot. Not on the tip of my nose. I'm not doing highlighter on the tip of my nose. I do not like that like <laughs> Rudolph the red nose, well the gold nose reindeer. And then right on one cupid's bow. I'm gonna go ahead and take my beauty sponge. And I'm gonna wet the, the butt of my beauty sponge. And I'm gonna go over that highlight very gently. And I'm gonna push that highlighter into the rest of the powders, into the rest of the stuff that is on my face. And what that does, at least for me, is it makes it look like it's your skin. It just makes you look so flawless so airbrushed. This is my favorite tip for super glam days is to just really go in with a beauty blender at the very end after you spray and just beat in those products. This is the finished look. So I hope you guys can see what I'm seeing and I hope it's translating on camera. On this side of my face, there's definitely some definition and this is my daily like, you know, just 
if I want something quick and I'm just going to work, like it gives you that definition right here, but it's very diffuse. It's very close to my skin tone, so it doesn't make it look so harsh. And also it's just powder. It's not like I'm powdering over the contour to make it really defined. And then up here, just a very light amount. I didn't go heavy with it. I did hit it with some highlighter and that always lifts your face. Did the brow bone and I did a little bit of crease defining. So my face looks very nice and it makes accentuates my face shape, but it's not like, uh, hello. Like you just sliced me with your cheekbone. But on this side, if you guys can see and if the light is actually showing you, this line is a lot more harsh, but it's definitely blended, but you can definitely see that difference in tone, like that difference in skin tone where this is more warm and this one is much more cool and then gradiates into warm because I put that blush on top of it and I really blended it out. And then on top, this highlighter is so much more booming than this side. This highlighter is like, gonna look excellent in photos. It's going to, you know, make all of your enemies super duper jealous. This highlighter is super amazing. And then all you have to do is take a darker, deeper brown than what you usually do and then just go right on that outer edge and then just take your crease brush and go back and forth right in between your, like right under your crease and it will naturally define what you already have. Just it defines the right parts of your eye is what I'm trying to say. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you, in the comments down below if you, how you guys contour and highlight, if there's any differences. Um, again, I wanna an announce that I'm gonna be having another giveaway when we reach 500 subscribers. Again, I wanted to thank you guys so much for all of your support and all of your comments. And I really am enjoying doing this stuff and I hope you guys are enjoying my video. Thank you guys for watching and stay well. I'll see you next time.